Hello everyone! Welcome back to a really intensive vocabulary lesson. Let's do this! So this vocabulary is part of my new book I'm writing right now. It will be published really soon, available on Amazon. So I will put the link in the description as soon as it's published. So keep checking! I will always first mention the German word. So you can compare German to Swiss German. We will start with some really helpful little words. First, German, bitte. Swiss German, bitte. Bitte. Danke. 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 Ich hätte gerne. Ich hätte gerne. Ich hätte gerne. Können Sie mir helfen? Könnt Sie mir helfen? Könnt Sie mir helfen? Links. 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 Rechts, rechts, rechts. Geradeaus, geradeaus, geradeaus. Hallo, hoi, hoi. Guten Tag. Grüezi, Grüezi. Tschüss, Tschüss. It's the same in Swiss German. Tschüss. Auf Wiedersehen. Adieu, Adieu. That means to God. Adieu is a French word which means to God actually. Und, und, oder, 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 aber, 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 ja, 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 nein, nein. Nein. Vielleicht. 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 Immer. 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 Nie. 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 Irgendwann. 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 Manchmal. Mangisch. Mangisch. Wirklich? 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 Okay, that was already the first part. Now let's go to learning some colors. Ready? Okay. Rot. 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 Blau. 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 Grün. 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 You can say the R here. R. Or in my dialect, I say grün. R. I do the R with my tongue. Grün. But whatever suits you better. It doesn't matter. Gelb. Gal. Gal. Weiß. Wies. Wies. Schwarz. 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 
braun, brun, brun, silbern, silberig, silberig, golden, goldig, goldig, grau. You see, in German, you say the R here, grau. And you don't hear it that much, grau. And in Swiss German, I say in my dialect, grau, r, grau. But you can say grau as well. Orange. 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 Pink. 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 You can see the K usually in Swiss German is much stronger. You know, in German you say pink and in Swiss German you say pink. But also it depends on the dialect. For example, I think in the Basel dialect is much softer. You you would not say r und k und these kind of things, you know. Um, they don't really say the k, I think. They say, um, for example, Kuchi, uh, kitchen, they would say Kuchi. I don't remember. Well, ask ask a Basel person. Okay, now let's go to weekdays. Okay, weekdays. Montag, Mantic, Mantic. Dienstag, Ziestig. Ziestig. That's quite different. Ziestig and Dienstag. Mittwoch, 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 Donnerstag, Donnerstag, or Donnerstag, depending on your dialect. You can say whatever suits you better. Donnerstag, Donnerstag. Freitag, Friedig, Friedig. Samstag, Samstig. Samstig. You can see here again, or you can hear. Yeah, you can hear. Uh, the Germans, they say Samstag with this kind of S, stimmhaftes S, Samstag. We don't have that. We say Samstig, Samstig, not Samstig. Okay? Okay, then Sonntag. Here again. Here again. Now I speak. English with the German accent. Okay, again. Here again. Sonntag. Swiss German. Sonntag. Sonntag. Not Sonntag. Sonntag. Got that? Okay, let's move to the next one, which is gonna be, what do you think? Yeah, exactly. Months. Okay. Januar. German. Swiss German. Januar. Januar. Februar. 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 März. 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 April. 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 In German you say April. Ap, like April. And with the R. And in Swiss German you say April. We don't have the P. We say P. P. Or we say P. Oh, it's hard to say. But listen carefully. German April. Swiss German April. April. We don't have a P. Okay? Mai. 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 Uni. Swiss German, exactly the same. Uni. Uni. Juli. We say Juli. Sorry for that. Okay. As you can hear in German, you say Juli and we say Juli. But quite, quite similar. August. August. 
very often or almost all the time when Germans say st, we say st. When Germans say sp, we say sp very often, okay? So, August becomes August. September. You hear September. Z, stimmhaftes S. In Swiss German, September. September, okay? Then, October. Swiss German, October. October. Um, the Germans don't really pronounce the R at the end in this case, like October. They don't say October. We say October. I pronounce the R in the end, and most dialects do as well. November. 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 December. 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 Okay? Now, what will be next? Guess. No. Mm, yeah, the seasons. Let's try them. Okay, German. Frühling. Swiss German. Frühling. Frühling. Sommer. Sommer, you hear? Swiss German, Sommer, Sommer, Herbst, 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 und Winter, Winter, again, we say the or Winter, we pronounce it, Winter, Winter, not Winter, like in German. Okay, next thing is something very important. Telling the time. Let's do it. Okay, first of all, we will learn morning, noon, afternoon, evening, these kind of things. Okay, German, der Morgen. Swiss German, der Morgen. Der Mittag, der Mittag. Der is de in Swiss German. Der Nachmittag, der Nomitok, der Nomitok. Der Abend, der, exactly, der Abig, der Abig. Die Nacht, t Nacht, die becomes t, t Nacht, it's just a D, t Nacht for female. Nouns. Die Mitternacht. T Mitternacht. T Mitternacht. Okay, now the time. Acht Uhr morgens. Och die am Morgen. Och die am Morgen. You will see we often add an I to tell the time. Och die Zani. Fui fi okay? So, 10 Uhr morgens is Zani am Morgen. Zani am Morgen. 5 Uhr abends is Fui fi am Abig. Fui fi am Abig. 7 Uhr abends. So, 7 in Swiss German is sibe, but if you tell the time, you say sibni am abig. Sibni am abig. Fünf nach sieben. Fünf ab sibni. Only the hour you add an I. Fünf, not fünfi, but fünf ab sibni. Viertel nach sieben, Viertel ab siebni. Viertel ab siebni. Fünf vor halb acht ist fünf, not fünf, fünf vor halb acht. 
Albi Orti. 10.30 Uhr. Zani Drisk. Or Halbi Elfi. Zani Drisk. Or Halbi Elfi. 20 vor 11. 20 vor 11. 20 vor 11. Viertel vor 11. Viertel vor 11. Viertel vor 11. Quite similar. Viertel vor 11. Viertel vor 11. Uh, if you have to ask for the time, like, wie viel Uhr ist es? In Swiss German, you would say, was ist für Zeit? Was ist für Zeit? It's more like English when you say, what time is it? What time is it? Was ist für Zeit? Es ist 5 Uhr. Es ist 5 Uhr, you would reply. Es ist 5 Uhr. Es ist 6 Uhr. Es ist 7 Uhr. Okay? Good. If it was like 3.25, es ist 5 vor halb 4 in Swiss German. Es ist 5 vor halb 4. Es ist, it is, 5 vor halb 4. Okay. Okay, now maybe you have to ask for the train. Wann kommt der Zug an? Wann kommt der Zug an? You would say in Swiss German, Wann kommt der Zug an? Wann kommt der Zug an? Es ist schon nach elf. Es ist schon elf gsi. Es ist schon elf gsi. Gsi ist gewesen in German. Gsi. Es ist schon elf gewesen, actually. We say, es ist schon elf gsi. Um Viertel nach sieben. Um Viertel ab sieb nie. Very good. Let's move to the next one. Animals. I will always mention the singular and plural form of the animal. Okay. You can see my cat there. She's so sweet. I will show her to you later. Okay. First of all, das Schaf, die Schafe, German. Swiss German, Schaf, because das in Swiss German is just s. And plural is always t, 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 Schaf, just a d. T, Schaf, s, Schaf, t, Schaf. Die Kuh, die Kühe, Truhe, Truhe. Very often there is an umlaut in the plural form. Ruhe, Ruhe in Swiss German. Okay. Das Pferd, die Pferde. S Ross, T Ross. S Ross, T Ross. Das Schwein, die Schweine. T Sau, T Soi. T Sau, T Soi. Die Ziege, die Ziegen. T Geis, T Geisse. T Geis, T Geisse. Der Esel, die Esel. Der Esel, T Esel. Der Esel, T Esel. Die Katze, die Katzen. T Chotz, T Chotz. Or we very often say busy for cat. So you would say busy because it's neutral. Busy or t busy. Okay. Der Hund, die, no. Der Hund, die Hunde. Der Hund, t Hund. Der Hund, t Hund. Das Huhn, die Hühner. S Huhn, t Hühner. S Huhn, t Hühner. Der Vogel, die Vögel. Der Vogel, t 
Vögel. Der Vogel. P Vögel. Die Fliege, die Fliegen. Flüge, Flüge. The same. Flüge, Flüge. If it's plural or singular. Der Käfer, die Käfer. Der Käfer, Käfer. Again, plural and singular are the same in Swiss German. Der Käfer, Käfer. Der Igel, die Igel. Der Igel, Igel. Der Igel, Igel. Die Schnecke, die Schnecken. Der Schnack, Schnacke. Der Schnack, Schnacke. Die Ameise, die Ameisen. Die Ameise, die Ameise. The same, singular, plural. Die Ameise, die Ameise. Das Schäfchen, die Schäfchen. Oh, there is a mistake. Okay. Das Schäfchen, die Schäfchen. Swiss German. Schäfli, Schäfli. Or in, on, in another dialect you might say Schäfli, Schäfli. Die Eule, die Eulen. Tüle and Tüle. The same singular or plural. Tüle, Tüle. Der Hase, die Hasen. See the, the Stimmhafte S. Hasen, Hasen. Swiss German, you would just say the has tosse. The has tosse. Das Meerschweinchen, die Meerschweinchen. Das Meersäuli, die Meersäuli. Das Meersäuli, die Meersäuli. Der Hamster, die Hamster. The hamster, the hamster. You can see the st becomes st. Hamster in German and hamster in Swiss German. Also with the R you say in German hamster and in Swiss German hamster. We pronounce the R. Der Löwe, die Löwen. Der Loi, die Loie. Der Leut, Leute. Das Zebra, die Zebras. Das Zebra, das Zebra. Das Zebra, das Zebra. Okay, last one. Der Affe, die Affen. Der Off, der Affe. Der Off, der Affe. Okay. And by the way, if you would like to be able to just print out all these words in three different languages, English, German and Swiss German, to make it much easier for you to learn, then you can become a patron and you will be able to download all the written material to all my lessons. Okay, it's really worth it. The link is in the description. Have a look. Okay, next thing. Food. Let's do this. Die Früchte, die Frücht, die Frücht, die Ananas, die Ananas, die Ananas, die Banane, die Banane, die Banane, die Zitrusfrüchte, die Zitrusfrüchte. Oh my god, try to say this word is really, I guess it's quite difficult. Zitrusfrucht. Say it. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. You're doing really well. Okay, next one. Die Orange. T orange. T orange. Die Zitrone. T Zitrone. Zitrone. Die Mandarine. Mandarinli. You can see sometimes the article is not the same in German and Swiss German. So, for example, die Mandarine in German is female and Smandarinli is. Äh, 
is <laughs> is neutral, smondery in green. Das Obst, das Obst, see Obst, and ends with German Obst, Obst. Okay, der Apfel, der Apfel, Apfel, not Apfel, Apfel, der Apfel. Die Birne, Tbire, Tbire. Das Gemüse, Skmües. Skmües, okay. Die Tomate, Tomate. You see again, the Germans say Tomate, Tomate. And we don't have the T, we say Tomate. We don't have a tomata, okay? That's how we can also hear the difference. If if um, German-speaking people um, try to speak uh, Swiss German, they sometimes say um, tomata. You see, that's where we can hear it. So if you want to be really professional, you just leave the, you just say tomata, okay? Okay. Die Oberschiene, die Oberschiene. Oberschiene. Die Peperoni. Der Peperoni. Der Peperoni. You can see Peperoni in German is female and in Swiss German it's male. But very often we use the same article. But there are cases where it's just different. Don't ask me why. Der Peperoncini. Der Peperoncini. Die Pilze. Pilz, T Pilz, der Lauch, der Lauch, der Lauch, die Karotte, S Rüebli, S Rüebli, that's very important, Swiss people love to eat carrots, S Rüebli, S Rüebli für Spürbli, we say sometimes, uh, the carrot for the boy, no idea. Really für Spiebli. Der Fenchel, der Fangel, der Fangel. Die Erdnuss, das Erdnüssli. As you can see, we very often make things smaller than they are, like Erdnüssli. When we add a Li, it means it's small, you know, Müsli, Erdnüssli, Müsli, all these kind of things. Okay, die Zwiebel. Zwiebeln, or in other dialects they would say Bölle, or whatever. I think we have a lot of different words for, for onion. Der Knoblauch, der Knobli. That's also very important. Swiss people like Knobli. You can put it in the fondue or these kind of things. Der Knobli. Die Bohne, die Bohne. Die Bohne, die Bohne. Der Kürbis, der Kürbis, der Kürbis. Um, der Wirt, der Wirt, that's typical Swiss, I love it. You know, you can put it in the soup or you can um, um, boil it in the water, put it in the oven, add some cheese on top of it, add some Rüebli, it's really nice, okay? Der Wirt, have a look for it in the store next time. Die Kartoffel, Kartoffel, that's quite different in Swiss German, we say, der Herdöpfel, der Herdöpfel, because Herd is an old word for soil, you know, because they're growing in the soil, Herdöpfel, okay? Der Salat, der Salat, der Salat, der Zopf, der Zopf, do you know what that is? It's very, very Swiss. It's a kind of bread we usually eat on Sundays, you know. It's made with also with uh, milk and egg. And it's really nice. And, and you make this really cool um, topf. Have a look in the store. It's really lovely. Das Brot. Das Brot. That's a normal bread. Das Brot. Das Brötchen. Sprötli, you can hear a li because it's small. Sprötli. Das Ei, s Ei, s Ei. Then, die Hafermilch. 
It becomes more and more popular, doesn't it? We say Tavermilch. Tavermilch. Die Milch, you know it by now. Milch. Yes, Milch. Das Joghurt. Das Joghurt. Das Joghurt. Der Käse, very important. Der Käse, in Swiss German, der Käse. Also depends on the dialect. You could say the chas. I think that's Bern dialect or something. The chas or the chas. Zurich dialect. Das Fleisch, s Fleisch, s Fleisch. Die Wurst, t Wurst. Wurst becomes Wurst again. Okay, t Wurst. Die Teigwaren. Hmm. Teigware. Teigware. Or we sometimes just say Nudeli or Pasta as well. Die Konfitüre. Die Gomfi. Die Gomfi. Der Honig. Der Honig. Der Honig. Das Müsli. Now you have to pay attention. In Swiss German is Müsli. Müsli. Like, don't say Grüzi, say Grüzi. Don't say Müsli, say Müsli in Swiss German. Okay? Die Schokolade, Schoki. Schoki, very important. I love it. Okay? Der Keks, Gwetzli. Gwetzli, important. When you have visitors or something. You can also bake your own Gwetzli. Gwetzli. So much for the first part of this video. I might do a second part if you really like it. And there we will go through body parts, business language, people personalities, feelings and moods, family members, legal words and terms, and maybe I will add some really typical Swiss words in the end. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up so I know if I should do the second part. Become a patron if you want to download all this material in written form, okay? Bye!